Dun, 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 Anyways. Hey guys, and welcome to Onion's Lifestyle. This is our first monthly vlog. We're kicking it off. Today is, uh, I think it's the last weekend of January. So that's why I'm starting off our February monthly vlog. Um, Onion's Lifestyle is, I share home organization. Uh, mom life, obviously, <laughs> a little bit of fashion, and just just sharing my journey on, you know, figuring out being a woman and being a mom, just to give a little background for those of you who don't really know me or not have, don't follow me on Instagram. I'm a mom of four. I have Two sets of twins, ages, how old are you guys now? Age two, they're about to turn three next month. And age uh, seven, my older ones. Two boys, two girls. Um, married, work a nine to five in the oil and gas industry. Um, and I've been an influencer for a few years. So follow me on Instagram. I have a whole lot of content there where I share my day to day. And I'm hoping yeah. to use the monthly mama. Hold on, babe. Sorry. Let's get <laughs> hoping to use these monthly vlogs to kind of share my uh my my life during the weekends because the weeks are just boring, just working. Um, so just share a little bit of you know the real of what I do from day to day because I get so many questions on how I manage all that I do. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Um, like the video, share, and subscribe. So for today, you can see in the back of my bed is a mess, so we are going to um, uh, some bedding that I ordered that's coming in today. So hopefully you get to see what I ordered and we're going to just work on making this beautiful. Um, doing my nails today, just running a few errands today. So that's what we have in store. About to drop these off, um, to school right now. So I'll hit you guys up in a little bit. Go, I should. Time to go to school, yeah. Hey, you guys. Ooh. Look what I got! New comforter is in here. I am joining the Casaluna bandwagon and I got my comforter set here. Now, let me go show you why I needed to finally buy a new comforter set. Guys, look at my comforter. This big gaping hole, I'm so embarrassed, but yeah, it's time. <laughs> it is time.
I was afraid that this kind of bedding, hold on. Okay guys, so I was afraid that this kind of bedding, like this kind of print or um, texture, wasn't really gonna go well with my style of bedroom. And it's kind of, you know, it's a little bit, Minimal, but very, like, clean lines. Very, a touch of glam. Um, I just thought, when I, when I first brought it out the box, I thought it was a little bit <laughs> like a grandma, like a knitted grandma blanket. But it works well. It adds that needed texture for my bedroom because everything is kind of like velvet and very smooth surface. So it, it kind of goes with the texture of my big gray pillows. Like it, this brings texture and now I have this second thing that brings texture and there's like lots of layers going on. The only thing I think I need to do is for my white pillows get a smaller size um, pillowcase or get a different type of white pillowcase because this is kind of like the, you know, the plain sheets pillowcases, but for this 23 by 23 um, pillows. So I think I need to get one size smaller so it's more tight fitting. Um, I'm I'm pretty good with the plain look of it. I think I want to keep that plain look of it, but make it more tight fitting, like how the other pillows are. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. My throw is from Target. My comforter is from Target. These pillow covers are from Amazon. I'll link it below. These pillows are from Target. I believe Target still sells these, so I'll find it and link it below. Um... These are from Amazon. Yeah, and my bed is from Wayfair. So, yeah, I like the look of it. It came out good. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready. Saturday, so I'm gonna get ready to go do my nails. Um,. I need to hurry because I have actually a lot of things to do. Let me show you what my feet is looking like. So my feet don't look bad. But this is driving me crazy. So we're going to go get those done. Hey guys, back home. And do you hear that? Nobody's home. Um, but that's good. Um, Kingsley took the kids. We have a nanny today. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I get a Saturday nanny. So every Saturday we have someone that comes from 7 a.m. to, no, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. every Saturday. And that is that's why I'm chilling and relaxing right now. Highly recommended if you don't have childcare, like long, oh, I don't know why I'm moving around. Long-term childcare like that, it's just a reliever because you know that that day you can plan whatever. You can plan to do stuff or plan to do nothing at all. 
Um, so yeah, but K Kingsley went out with the kids and the nanny for the, um, there's like an event in our neighborhood. So they went to that with my brother-in-law and his kids, my sister's kids. So yeah, that's why it's quiet. But yeah, the bad part is I got to bring the groceries in by myself. Usually my older kids do that. Um, but that's okay. I need to clean the fridge out. Um, cause I like to get the fridge as empty as possible before putting in new groceries. And I have shown that in a couple of videos. Um, I'll link them in the description. If you want to know like my whole, um, grocery process, um, I have, I talk extensively about it. Um, but yeah, let me clean the fridge. And then as I'm putting things away, I'll show you guys what I bought. of um i don't bring these out to I don't, know if you can see me. I don't bring the containers out to decant outside i just bring the items into here so that's what you're gonna see me do um so i guess the mini pantry tour too a little update because i do have a pantry video um but i've changed i've changed it since so i'm just gonna decant all my items in the pantry so, for those of you interested, usually, I'm not going to put new items on top of old items. So what I do is I just take out what's left in there and pour in the new stuff. These are just snacks. Pour in the new stuff. And then put the old stuff in. Sometimes people put things in the wrong spot in the pantry, and I, it's easy, because of how I have it set up, it's easy for me to, like, put it away. <laughs> okay, guys, here's the tour. So, when you open the pantry, I have my spice jar here. Or my spice, I don't know what this is called. Spice rack? I don't know. So, as I mentioned earlier, these are all the spices I use on a regular basis um and then i have the labels in the front and then i have labels up top minus this one because that's new but yeah i have my labels up top and then i have some more spice jars that are empty so i'm not in a rush to fill it up um and then these this is basically my pantry. So to do a quick little tour 
On this side are all of my breakfast and snacks. So I have my cereals. I have my, let me go over here, my oatmeal, and I have my bread and cornbread. And then all of this is snacks and some more breakfast items. Snacks. <laughs> snacks on the bottom. Snacks and juice. And I have some more bread. And then as I mentioned up top, I have my, um, this is for my bulk items. So extra breakfast items, extra carbs, and extra miscellaneous or other. In the middle are my all my Nigerian stuff. So any Nigerian items that I don't use regularly go in here. And these are Nigerian items we use kind of regularly. <laughs> There's some um, seasoning, Nigerian seasonings, and my cans and oils. Then we have a little thing here that's also for bulk, things like you want to hide. So like water jugs, um, big containers, I have my vinegar there. Things that are just too big, I just put it in here. And then up top on the right side are all my spices, as I mentioned before. So I have extra, my bulk spice. So you can see like I have a lot of <laughs> containers in there of spices. So I just organize it up here. And then here's all my carbs, more carbs. That's where I keep all my noodles. And then I have like condiments, my Ziploc, and then some more, like my more condiments. And then some rice that I, I don't eat often, but if I want to be healthy, I'll eat that. So yeah. And then these are some uh, beans that I keep in these containers. So that's basically it. Just a little quick tour. Um, and I can't link everything, but I am planning to do maybe like an extensive uh, pantry tour where I will link everything. All right. So, but if you are pressed, you really want something let me know and i'm happy to send you the link <laughs>church started at 10 30 but it actually started at 10 um so we just stayed for the half an hour that we were there for but it was good it wasn't too bad and now i am at my sister's house because her and her hubby are hosting lunch and i just came early um the kids are napping and they're with their dad at home so i just came here to help and hang out before other people arrive but look at my sister's house. It is so cute and modern. Ooh. So cute and modern. Love it. Um, and yeah, I was supposed to help, but I've I just been hanging out here. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what we're doing for our Sunday, just chilling. And um, yeah, it's been cool. I just do that. <laughs> Food is done. Look at this rice that my sister made. Mm, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, yeah, okay, That's the it. chef. This is not aesthetic. You gotta make it look pretty. Okay, gotta make it mix around. Okay, so pretty. do the mixing. Boom! Dum 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 dum. Anyways, we got some rice here. Let's see what my brother-in-law grilled. Open it up. Mm, that does smell good. Oh my god. Yeah. Got some ribs. Is that ribs too over there? No, this is so exciting. And we got some, some wings. Can you guys see that? Oh my God. It smells so good. Well, we'll be eating good. So 
So we're just hanging out. I was supposed to help, but they didn't need my help. They got it. <laughs> Hi. Hey. It's Tosin. Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey guys, so it's Saturday. Last weekend I didn't vlog at all. You know, it's just one of those things. But we're here today. Today is running errands with the sister. So we're gonna go to Ikea right now. So we'll take you guys along with that. Hey guys, so I'm dressed. My sister left her house to get some things to go. Um, so I just quickly got dressed. This is what I'm wearing to go out. This shirt I got from a uh, Instagram business that makes t-shirts with literally anything you want i'll go ahead and link them below and then these are some h&m um mom jeans and then i got some zara sandals so yeah this is my look for the day and sorry my house is a mess so anywhere i have a mirror is gonna just have so much of a mess so it is what it is this is <laughs> this is life but let's go to ikea so I'm going to go find some Valentine's Day stuff for um, a dozen around this class because next week's Valentine's Day. So let's go see. I feel like I'm so late on getting Valentine's Day stuff, but at least Target still has all this candy. Um, I might have to end up making my own little Valentine's Day bags, and I have no idea how many kids are in their class. Okay, let's get some candy. Okay, guys, so we're back from Target. I went to Marshall's. I'm at my sister's house right now. But I wanted to show you the stuff I got. So, I don't know what I recorded in Target. You could hear it, but I forgot that Valentine's Day is on Monday, and I need to get um, little baggies for Adat and Ari's class because they're going to do their Valentine's Day card exchange. So I wanted to show you what I got. And the thing about having twins is that you have to remember to get double of everything. So they have 24 kids in their class. So I last minute remembered, oh, I need to get double the candy, double the bags, <laughs> double the cards, double everything. So I got these um, bags at Target. They're like a dollar and they're like little paper, paper, um, brown paper bags. So I figured I'll let Adan Ari decorate it. I need to buy some. Maybe I'll try and see on Amazon if they have stickers or something. But I'll have them decorate it for their classmates and they can put their names on there. So I have the, paper, the brown ones are for Adan. And then I have some blue ones, but I think I left it in the car. I'll have to go get it. Um, and then I got a few packs of these um, dinosaur eggs, and they're filled with jelly beans and stickers to put in the bag. And then I got a bunch of different candies. It's so weird. So, like, for classes, you always want to make sure that you don't get something like peanut butter or nuts or anything, but they didn't have that in the notes, so I just bought uh, just some candies here, some Kit Kats and some Snickers. I need to show you um, the other stuff I got. Let me go get it. I'm back. So I also got like these little heart-shaped tissue paper. And then the blue ones for Ari, the blue bag. And then I also got these. So this is a Valentine's Day card kit, so can make the cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making them, put them together, and then maybe we can stick these on the cover of the paper bags, or we can just have the kids decorated with markers and stuff. So either way, I'm pretty excited about it because last year <laughs> I forgot to do this. So they didn't give out anything, but they got so much candy and stuff. So I kind of felt bad.
for not having them participate. So I'm trying to do better. Anyways, that's what we got from Target. Chica's cooking up some this really lunch. Big. Look what she made, guys. Look what my sister made, guys. Some yummy salad. We eat healthy here. I'm so excited. Mmm. That looks so good. Yeah, you told me. Yeah. How long do you want this clip to Hi, you guys. We are back. Today is Sunday. Sorry, I haven't vlogged today. Um, but today and tomorrow I'll try and vlog. We are, I'm here with baby girl and the kiddos. We're waiting for dad because we're going to go to H&M to return some things that we purchased. Um, uh, got like $400 worth of clothes there. Um, courtesy of hubby for Valentine's Day and nothing fit. So we're returning all of it and see if we can exchange it for some stuff. And I'm also gonna get some clothes for the older ones because they're going through a massive Grossberg. Um, so we'll take you guys to that. Hey you guys, so we're back home. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what we got from H&M in a little bit. We were able to return our items. And one quick tip is that if you don't have your receipt from H&M, but use the app to, you know, get the points. Like if you're a reward member for H&M, they save your receipt in there. So I didn't have my receipt, but it was, we used the reward system. So we were able to get our full refund back. So I might be the last person on earth that knows that, but just wanted to let you guys know in case you didn't. But now we're home and I just got this bug to just organize while the kids are napping. So let me show you what I did. So, hold on. So guys, I'm sure I've shown this to you before, but this is basically my coffee bar area. And right now it's pretty bland. Um, and I meant to record a video on this. So the work I'm doing, I'm gonna have to like undo it and then redo it for you guys. Which that's, have, I, I like organizing so much that sometimes I forget to capture it so i just find myself organizing unconsciously so but anyways look at my coffee bar i need to show you a picture i'm gonna look for a picture and show you what it looked like before it was just a hot mess but i got these um little inserts from ikea and i love them so much so we literally only drink two types of coffee which is just the these double espresso ones and then the regular espresso. Um, so we only have those two. Let me show you a better view. And then we really only take have two types of tea as well. So we drink this ginger, lemon, ginger, honey tea. And then we also drink this three ginger tea. When I drink it together, I add extra honey and I add lemon to it. And then if I'm sick, I'll add emergency to it and it tastes so good and it makes you feel so much better. And honestly, since I've been doing that, I've been feeling, I've been getting over colds much quicker. And now what I'm trying to do is just drink one cup every night just to alleviate any chance, like to get my body set up to fight against any kind of cold. Because the way these kids are set up, I stay <laughs> getting sick. And then I have our glass straws here that I keep here along with our little, I forget what these are called, but we use it to clean the straws. So I have extra ones here and keep it here. And then we have some 
hot chocolate mixes. We don't use this too often. This is really only for during the holidays or during like if we're having like a special thing with the kids, then we'll use this one. Their regular everyday chocolate is Nesquik that we keep in the pantry. But but yeah, I'm so happy with it. These are from IKEA. And then this divider, I have several that I'm gonna be using throughout the house. Um, so I bought a pack of these, which have little inserts that you can put inside. Um, and I got that from Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link that for you guys. But look out for the video coming soon. Um, we're definitely gonna show you the different ways to kind of set up the coffee bar. And that's gonna include this particular drawer, but it's also gonna include the countertop space. There's some items I bought to help organize it. Side note, one of my spice jars broke. I'm so sad because these um, <sighs> these labels are not the easiest to make, but that's okay. And then I'll get rid of some things here, make it real cute. And then also, this is what it looks like in here. It's not horrible, but you know, I'm an organizer, so this is a hot mess to me. <laughs> it can be better and like better use of the space. Um, we don't really use these cups anymore. It's so like putting in my other cups here, just making better use of the space. We have extra tea here. We have our green tea here that my mom uses when she's in town. So I keep those here and then I have some detox tea. Um, and then some black tea that a lot of my sisters will use. And then we have this for, if you're a Nigerian, you know what you use this for to make your Zobo. These have been here a while though, but yeah, we keep it here when my husband wants to make Zobo. Anyways, and then our honey. But yeah, I'm gonna fix this and then you'll see it in the video how would I do there. And then over on this side is our Tupperware drawer. So I kind of just keep it as this. It, to me, this is as organized as it's gonna get. Um, the top two sections, I think I may change a little bit for the video to make it a little bit some of this stuff we don't use, but definitely the bottom two is pretty much set how it is. I like it, it works for us. Um, and let's see, what else can I show you? I'm basically showing you guys the whole video, but I, this is a hot mess, so that's gonna be fixed. But yeah, if you wanna see how I transform this space, you know, do my magic here, especially the countertop space I'm excited for, the plans I have. Just um, take a look at a new video coming soon. But yeah, so guys, um, I did a little bit of that just because I got some stuff from Amazon that came in. But I'm also working while the twins are still sleeping. The older ones are watching TV. I don't know if you can hear that. But if you look over here, ah! <laughs> that is probably the most embarrassing part of, oh, you see that door there? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see what's in that door, but we'll get to that when I'm ready for that. I'm not ready for it. But this is our junk drawer and it's a hot mess. I did buy this thing recently. Let me turn the camera so you guys can see better. Okay. So yeah, without looking too hard, it's a hot mess, but I did buy this um, organizer for your batteries. And so I'm going to see how I can incorporate it. I got excited. It came in yesterday, got excited and started putting batteries in here. It comes with a tester here so you can see if the batteries work. So I'm going to just see how much work I can do right now and get this fixed. So that's what we're going to do right now.
Okay, guys, I'm done. Let me give you a better show of this. So this is the organizer. And then as I emptied out the drawer, I just put more batteries here. I do have... Gosh, let me see. So I have these batteries. And I could have sworn this one I can put in here. But I don't know. Maybe I'll clip, open them up and just stick it in here. But either, anyways, um, I'm happy I got this because I do have all of these batteries in different parts of the house. So at least I can keep it here, uh, especially for all these kids' toys and stuff. And then this thing, all you do, I only have one hand right now. <laughs> ah, anyway, so. All you do is you just take a battery if you're not sure if it's going to work or not, if you want to use it. And you just stick it in this way. So you want it to match. So this plus goes here and that goes here. You stick it in here. And then if all three light up, that means that it's good. If only these two light up, that means it's weak. And if only the red lights up, that means you need to replace it instead. So yeah, let me see if I can show you guys. Hold on. Okay, so we have this, and then all you do is you put the battery in like this. You put it here, and then you close it here, and then see? So it's showing that this um, battery is good since all, light, all three light up. And that's it. Simple. So I do have, this is also a drunk drawer, and these two are also my drunk <laughs> cabinets. So I am going to empty all of that, um, and I am going to, in another video, this is all trash from there that I'm going to throw out, but in another video, because um, I am going to be putting out a lot of organization videos, so all the organization I do in my home, you're going to see detailed videos of that in other specific videos, but... As I was saying, I can show you this drawer. It's a mess, you know, and these are messes as well. Um, so I'll show all of that in the video, how I get it organized. So this this is trash. I'm going to throw all of this away. And this is all the stuff I want to keep. And I have to figure out how I'm going to organize it. Not all of this stuff is going to stay here. A lot of these things, for example, all these pencils belong with the kids' supplies. Um, so I'm going to figure out how to organize that and show you in the video. Um, this is what we're working with right now. Not bad. Looks great. <laughs> um, so I'll show you guys how we transform this uh, drawer. I'm, was, I was going to wait to show you guys what this drawer looks like uh for another video i'm still gonna do that but if you're watching to this point you get to see what it looks like now and this is what it looks like so i have some more of these i showed you this in my coffee bar area so i had a few more because it comes in a pack so all i did is just keep my batteries here <sighs> these i know we removed them because Hannah loves playing with these things, so we have them all over. So I'm just going to keep them here since we don't really need to touch it. And then I have our keys to keep here. Then I have um, some pens, a sh uh, Sharpie, scissors, a charger, and a charger box. Some toothpicks, and then some aloe vera. I think this is hand sanitizer. Oh, it's aloe vera. I might put this in my first aid, but it's here for now. Some chopstick. Just little things for now. So this may change, but it is so much organized. Looks so much better than how it looked like before. So like I mentioned in the other video, I will show this, especially if I update it and change it around. But I will show you how I do all of this here. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I think I'm done organizing for today. Gonna clean up and make a coffee. Yeah. Hey guys, so <laughs> I 
I'm so sorry. I didn't take you guys to um, the dinner we had at my sister's house. I need to get used to filming when there's strangers around or at least asking them if they're comfortable. But here we are. Today's Monday. Hold on. I got to turn off that vent. Okay, here we are. Today's Monday. Um, the plan is I took today off. Today's President's Day um, because all the kids are home. My sister's off. My husband's off. My um, brother-in-law's off. So we decided to use this day to take the kids out to the aquarium. So I'm getting ready for that now. I have my clothes on. I'll show you guys my outfit in a little bit before we leave. Um, but I just wanted to just sit and talk to you guys while I get my makeup together. And of course, I need to go get my face primer. I'll be back. Okay, so um, I'm just going to be putting on my makeup. I'll mention what I'm using, but um, I'm not a makeup person. But if you're interested in any of these stuff I use, just let me know in the comments. Um, but I'm using my Makeup Forever Shine Control. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just sit here. So this is weekend four for my very first monthly vlog that I'm trying to do. And I really feel like I'm sucking at it because I really want to show. So the whole purpose, let me take it back a little bit. The whole purpose of this vlog, vlogging process is one for me to get used to you know, talking to you guys and being more transparent online about mom life because the whole point of me being an influencer and sharing is because when I was a new mom, I felt really, really isolated. Um, I was learning by trial and error, um, going through the struggles of what mom life, especially as a new mom, a new young mom, starting off my career, starting off with twins, starting off with marriage, <clears throat> all within the same year. It was a struggle. So I just want to be able to be a voice or, or um, a place where people can get advice, real raw advice on how to go about things where life doesn't get overwhelming. Um, I'm going to use my Fenty. Uh, foundation because <laughs> it gets overwhelming it gets crazy um and so I feel like after four kids and almost 10 years of marriage 10 years into my career a couple years into being an influencer I feel like just living life I feel like I've mastered a they're about, I'm still struggling. The things you kind of have to prep yourself to do in order to live your best life, you know, as a wife, as a woman, and still do the things you want to do. So I feel like with my vlogging, my regular videos, I show, I share tips, I share my organization and all of that. I guess I love to organize, but all of that is part of what I need to do personally in order to be able to live my best life and still support all the people um, in my family. Um, but I want my vlog to show that it's not perfect. Although I like to organize, my house is not always organized. If you look at the background of my home, I do have a beautiful home, I believe, <laughs> that me and my husband created, but it can be messy at times, you know, and I'm not trying to put a facade like my house is always organized and always clean and my kids are always together because it's not, it's not the case at all. So I'm trying my best to just really show the raw of it so that way you guys can relate to me and you guys can understand that. What I'm doing to help me be sane could actually help you guys if you're struggling or anything. And also most, I don't want to generalize, but most women, 
you know, want to have order in, in their lives. And so I'm just one example of how you could go about doing it in a way that's realistic. Because I feel, especially in today's time, I'm looking for my concealer. Hold on. I feel like in how social media is now, even for me, it feels like a lot of people are are perfect. But I know <laughs> that's not, I have enough friends, enough mom friends, enough friends that are women to know that life is not perfect. And it takes a whole lot of energy and stress to make your life appear perfect, you know? And although we know that social media is a snapshot of Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing fancy concealer. <laughs> Although I know that, you know, social media is just a snapshot of somebody's life. It's not the true story, complete story. Um, it sometimes unconsciously doesn't feel that way. You can still get affected by it. So, um, oh, shoot. I forgot to put the stuff on my eyebrows um so i'm just here trying to you know show everything so i'm really gonna i hope if if you guys are at this point then i'm glad that you enjoyed my my long ass <laughs> monthly vlog for february um and i'm hoping that i continue to get more comfortable in front of the camera and more transparent with you guys so that way um you can really understand you know how all these tips and tricks can help you and know and see that i'm not perfect i'm not pro i'm not a, a professional at this i'm just like you guys like i'm still trying to figure it out so i don't want to keep talking so much so i'm just gonna just finish out my makeup um and then i'll see you guys when we're on our way to the aquarium in three Two one. <laughs> Chica's house. Um, it was a fun day, but I am tired. And this is the last weekend of the February vlog. So I'm going to close it out here. 
if you made it this far, you're a real one. And stay tuned for the March. I know I missed some weekends for February, but March, we're gonna be in Is this there. This the last weekend of February? This was the last weekend of the vlog. Chica's here. This was the last weekend of the February vlog that I'm doing. I'm sorry. March vlog Look. next weekend. In February still? La yeah, that's how I do it. Last week of the previous month to the to now. Yeah. Like I started this one the last weekend of January. But anyways, I'm gonna close out the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, a like, and share the video on social media. And if you want to see all that I'm doing ahead of time before the end of the month, check me out on Instagram. I have my handle below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.